So now we are at the rear of the LM6 mini chiller and we're going to show you how to attach the fittings and connect it to the rotary evaporator filling with glycol mix and getting this all rolling. First thing you want to do is make sure the machine is off. This chiller should not be connected to power during any of these processes here. We have a paper towel because when we remove these inlet and outlet plugs, nothing will come out of the inlet, but on occasion a small amount of propylene glycol mix will come out of the outlet down here. This is actually on purpose. They are tested in the factory and before they ship we drain them, but we leave a small amount in there just to protect them during shipping. So we're going to connect these inlet and outlet fittings. Best to put this outlet in first make it a little bit easier when you're trying to connect this. You don't have the inlet in the way. So work from the bottom to the top. And it doesn't have to be extraordinarily tight, but it does have to have a nice seal. The Teflon tape definitely does help in this process. We can always check for leaks later after we fill it and have it running for a moment or two. And if we need to, we can tighten it doesn't have to be extremely tight though, just has to be a nice seal. We put the inlet in, thread it in there gently. These are plastic, so be careful how you thread. We don't want to cross thread. We have our vacuum, I'm sorry, our chiller tubing. We are going to connect either one and it is cut to equal lengths. You don't want to have this more than a meter or so, uh, you don't, or a couple meters. That way the chilling process is much more efficient. If you have a great length, it really, really slows down the whole process. So we slide them on, get them all the way on. And again, you can have hose clamps that you connect to here and we can tighten. But it's not always necessary. This should be an adequate seal. We're going to connect these to the glassware. Spin this around. We're going to fill it up and we'll show you that in one second. 